¿Lleva un carro encima? Sí. ¿Mi? ¿Tú te los quieres lavar primero? This never happens. She's just now starting to wake up. Buenos dias, Sofia.
So this is really sad. <clears throat> the mom has died. Officially. After Sophia was born, we just really didn't have time. Or didn't remember, actually. We didn't remember to water them, so. Oh well. Official hello, everybody. This is a typical day in my life. When, so let's be real, with a newborn, there's no like typical, there's no, Sophia doesn't really have a routine yet other than she eats every three hours. So that's kind of the schedule that I'm on. And it just so happened that last night she ate, well, I guess in the morning she ate at 5.30 and so she didn't wake up till 8.30. And she's very on schedule, like on the dot, three hours. But, um, if she was supposed to wake up at 7 or 7.30, then the morning would have looked a lot different. And that happens sometimes where she wakes up before Tiago, where she's up at like 6. And so I don't really get to go back to sleep or anything um, <clears throat> before Tiago wakes up because he's been getting up early too. So, um, yeah, today was kind of a good morning not representative of every morning um and that's just kind of you know life with a newborn with tiago he's we have pretty much a good routine down um he only takes one up a day so it's you know we got that down but with sophia we still very much follow her feeding schedule by the way it's gorgeous outside i think it's like 73 degrees right now so, so nice. This is his happy place. So when Sophia goes down to sleep, um, I try and take as much time as I can to be with him. But I try to get things done too, just in spurts. Like I... And I've had to break that cycle a little bit or that habit of wanting to do everything at once. Like right now, I would go in there and sweep and mop and do laundry and all the things that I know that I have still to do. But I also have to find the time to spend with Tiago um, when, you know, when I'm not with Sophia. And I also want to spend time with her when she's awake but she's not awake for very long before she gets sleepy again. So um, it's a balancing thing, but I'm at home because of them. So I very much want to um, prioritize being with them rather than prioritize chores. So I do chores, um, just kind of in between spending time with them, not the other way around. And I also try to take time for myself. Like this morning, you saw that I was able to do that. That was not planned at all because we live by Sophia's feeding schedule, literally. So it was not planned. I just had that extra time and I said, you know, I will not get this time later. So I took the time, like 15 minutes to do a little something to my face and do a little something to my hair. But that's not time that I always get. Like I said, sometimes the mornings don't, don't look like that at all. And I don't get time until like close to noon to really do anything for myself. So yeah, days just look different.
um, going down to sleep and Sophia is still asleep, I'm going to try and get ahead of dinner time and try to plan what we're going to have. Um, Freddie really likes this salad that I make with hard boiled eggs and bacon. So I'll do something with that as a side. I just don't know what. Um, maybe some grilled chicken or something. Um, this has been like an ideal day. Like it, I couldn't have imagined it working out better. Like I even get time to myself, but that never happens. Like this is, and it's not planned, I swear. Sophia's due to eat um, in about 12 minutes, so I have less than 20 minutes um, to figure something out and get like chicken or, or meat thought out and cook things. So I'll probably get some hard boiled eggs going, some bacon in the oven. Hopefully I don't burn it this time. And I don't know as far as meat what we're going to make. You know, the other day I posted it on my Instagram stories. I made these mini burgers. They were so good. They were really, really good. And Tiago really liked them. He's not a huge like meat eater. He's not a huge red meat kind of kid, but he really liked those. And I just wrapped them up in lettuce. And so I think I might make those again because I really like them and Freddie really liked them. So I'll probably make burgers with salad and I might um, put some tater tots or fries in the oven for Freddie. That's what we're doing. Sophia just woke up. She must be starving. Fuchi, fuchi. Ah. Huele rico? Sí. Yum. This day is beautiful. It's like 78 degrees. And then the sun's already going down. It's like almost 4.30. can tell Tiago loves playing outside he loves playing in the dirt outside <laughs> um, yeah he gets all kinds of dirty every single day and I love that I think that I nurtured that from you know when he was little um, I didn't I try not to give him too many distractions or anything. I let him be in quiet places and not feel like I had to entertain him 24 seven. Although it's tempting, you know, even if it's a book or whatever, a toy or rattle, you just, you want to put them, you want to put something in front of them all the time. You think they need constant stimulation, but I, you know, I, I fought that urge um, from, when, <laughs> from when he was little and just let him kind of learn to entertain himself. And I think it's worked out because he does, he does that pretty well. He's really good at entertaining himself and um, independent play. Not to say that he doesn't need me sometimes. He's more needy with his dad. 
he loves to play more with him than with me. Um, but even when it's with one of us, more than anything, he just wants us to watch him or to be somewhere near him. He doesn't really need us to be part of his play. Alright friends, <clears throat> Freddy is home and he's putting Tiago to sleep and we're beat. I don't know if you can tell on my face, I am exhausted. So we're going to call it a night and um, this is going to be the end of the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't think I look as tired as I am.